I prefer to say that we rehome stuff. We find, find new homes for lovely items. Hello, you wonderful people. Hello. Welcome to the video. I thought we'd do something a bit different um, and make a video celebrating the little wins you have. Reselling, I said this many times before, reselling is not easy. It's a lot of work to get the turnover and all of that, but sometimes certain little sales just really make it all worthwhile. I mean, these aren't blow you away amazing sales, but they really made our day and we had one each and I thought it would make a concise little video and they're items that are well worth celebrating yeah. and sharing. So do you want to go first? Um, can do. So, well, let's quickly show you. You've got yeah, this. Mine was an Etsy sale. You might remember, if you follow my channel, you might remember this in one of my haul videos. Yeah. Um, and that's... I love this bowl. It's West German. Well, before like, we, before we oh, do all okay. the details, so that's Andrea's. And quickly, mine, we'll do this after, is this unusual pipe with case. Um, yeah. You trumped me on price, though. But yeah. yeah, start with yours, then. Okay. Right, it's a West German bowl. <laughs> I think we paid about £5 for it. I don't think they would come down on that. Uh, we bought it from a boot sale. Yep. Um, and it is by a brand called Veta. Absolutely loved it when I picked it up. I knew it was yeah. worth worth a fiver all day long. I took advice from you guys and priced it really, really high so that I could come down or take offers on it, etc. So I priced it at 95. And I didn't sell it and I was I was gonna bring the price down on it, but I, I'm running a 30% off sale on Etsy currently and it was snapped up. So I sold it for 30% less than, I think it was like 60 something. The, no, including 70. postage, it came to 73 pounds 48, oh, okay. something like that. Um, so it was almost 70 pounds um, all in, yeah. Yeah, so well worth looking out for your obscure, unusual looking ceramics. Um, I mean, when you bought it, when, when we picked it up, we didn't know it was a particularly valuable piece. We just no. knew it was a stunning, item. I recognised it item. to be probably mid-century West German. So I picked it up. I'd not heard of Vetter before. Yeah, I was very, very pleased with my pickup and now I'm thrilled with my sale, so. Yeah, so that's gone for 60 something plus shipping. Yes. Um, yeah, very happy with that. Yep. So that's going to have to be super carefully packaged. Is it yes. staying in the UK? Do we know Yes, it that? is. Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, my item I wanted to talk about is this. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to pronounce this correctly, but it is a... Can you read it? Meerschaum? I'm going to go with Meerschaum. Is that German as well? I think the word is, but this is Turkish. Oh, okay. Um, from my limited research and knowledge on these, Meerschaum is this mineral, the white mineral here that they use to make kind of um, more expensive pipes, like a higher end to clay pipes. And this mineral is sort of absorbent, so it soaks up the tobacco resin and stuff and, and it creates a very smooth smoke, apparently. You know, I'm not an expert, I haven't tried it, and this has never been used. But over years they get stained and they absorb that sort of flavour, and it was, a, it was a big thing. And it still is. And they're carved into these different designs, and then they have this little stem part. If I'm getting the words and the is terminology wrong, so that might be. I don't know if that's just a plastic or if that is... I don't know. But this, I, I got this as part of a big bundle of stuff and it wasn't really particularly factored in in the price. It basically came to me for free and I didn't know what it was. I did my research. It's been listed for, I would suggest, six months to a year. It's been on for a long time and originally I think I had it on at 75 or maybe more and we're both pushing to clear some stuff. So I've been sending out offers and it got snapped up at 50 in the end. But from a kind of 
don't know what it is item in a big haul of stuff. I've enjoyed learning a little bit about Meerschaum pipes and what they are. Yeah, it's a lovely item, isn't it? And it's gone for 50 and the case is gorgeous. Look at this. It's like this little velvety lined case. Isn't that the coolest thing? A little clasp on it. So that's what that is. I mean, I was lucky in a way that it had this label in, so my research was a little bit easier about what this, these Meerschaum pipes are and why they're a bit special. So yeah, that was it. it. Another item that I knew nothing about, even when I picked it up, I knew nothing about it. And uh, it's certainly on my radar now. There it is, look at how ornate that is. I dare say I could have, I could have held out for more but we are happy to move stuff at the moment. Yeah. So 50 pounds and call that, what about 65? Ish, yeah. Ish, before fees and shipping. Remember that folks, <laughs> it's always fees and shipping. <laughs> I could sit and work it out, but off the top of my head. Yeah. Anyway, we thought it would make a handy, fun little video. Uh, let us know what you thought. Have you ever had a mere shalm pipe? Or a fancy West German fruit bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, this is what we do for a living. We buy stuff and we sell it on the internet and try and make a profit on it. This isn't the norm. We don't normally, you know, make those big margins. A lot of the stuff we sell are the sort of 10 to 20 pound items or even less sometimes. Yeah. And we turn a lot of that over. But occasionally you get these really nice items that give you a big chunk of profit and make it all worthwhile. All worthwhile, yes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe. We put out several videos every week all about the whole process of buying stuff and selling it on the internet. Indeed. Indeed. You got any words of wisdom to end this one on? Um, I, I prefer to say that we rehome stuff. We find, find new homes for lovely items. Is that your word of wisdom then? We're yeah. item rehomers. Item rehomers. Yes. Well, you heard it here first. We are <laughs> professional item rehomers. Take care. I'll stick a video on here. I'll find an old video, pop it up here in the middle of us out and about sourcing this stuff. So if you want to carry on watching us, click on here. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.